Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ariviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to use the pro mode on the camera of your iPhone. That way you can get the best results possible, the best video, photo and all your quality that can come out out of an iPhone's camera. Now, of course, I don't recommend this for everyday use. If you're just shooting stuff around, don't use this because it's not that efficient. It will take a lot of storage on your iPhone. So you only use these settings and this setup when you actually need to get the best out of your iPhone's camera. Now before we get started, I just want to let you know something. These settings that you will see on this video will not appear on every device. Of course, based on which device you have. A lot of these settings will only appear on pro models. So if you have an older iPhone or an iPhone that's not a pro version, you might not see a few of these settings on your iPhone. So let's get started and go to the settings one by one and let me show you guys how to use the best settings the pro mode on your iphone so you get amazing results out of your iphone's camera first of all head on to the formats of course under the camera settings on your settings app and you will have here high efficiency and most compatible now most compatible will shoot a different format which will work on most devices so if you're using windows and things like that you can use that but if you're only using apple products this is the way to go high efficiency and by using this you will also be able to actually use the pro modes right here so first of all you select high efficiency and then you will have photo capture now this is the pro mode again i don't recommend this for everyday use you enable the pro mode right here and you can see we have now here pro raw resolution you can go ahead and choose the resolution of course the 48 megapixels will be the best it will shoot the bigger pictures and if you have this disabled your iphone only shoots on 12 megapixels so you leave it at 48 that way of course you will have amazing pictures which are pro raw which means that you can also edit them in post and do anything you want with them but again of course they will take quite a lot of space on your iphone that's why it's not recommended to use this for everyday use and you will have the same here for video capture so video capture apple prores you enable this and right here you will have enabled the progress for your iphone which will shoot really high quality video which again can be easily edited on post so you can see right here a minute of this video will be at around 1.7 gigs again the best quality you can possibly get out of an iphone's camera but not for everyday use once you have the setup then you can go ahead and move to the resolutions of the video. First of all, we will have here record video. Of course, the best resolution will be the 4K at 30 frames or 60 frames per second, or even maybe 24. Based on what you're shooting, of course, for different things, you might want to use different resolutions. So if you want to get a more cinematic look, you go for the 24. If you're maybe shooting sports or something, you want to go for 60 frames per second, it will look much, much better. And you can see right here, you also have like the details on how much space that will take on your iPhone. Now, once you have these enabled, you go for the 4K version. Again, of course, it takes more space. And you can also enable here enhanced stabilization. If you have that option on your device, make sure you enable it. Now, what this will do is that video mode will stabilize the video by simply zooming in just slightly, which makes it look way, way better. And then you can also enable here or change here the auto frame. So right here, what you do is choose 30 frames per second it will drop to 24 when it needs to reduce the frame rate to get a better lightning on the video or if you just want to shoot on 60 frames per second make sure you choose 30 and 60 frames per second that's the way to go now once you have that configured you can also go ahead and enable action mode for lower light which means that it will decrease the stabilization to optimize the brightness of your video so if you know you're shooting on a very dark environment you have this enabled right here and you're good to go now you will have also here settings for different video modes as well so if you want to shoot slow-mo of course you go for the 240 frames per second that you that way you will get a slower slow motion video and then you will have here the cinematic if you want to shoot cinematic and you have that option on your iphone i think of course the best way maybe to go 
is 4K at 24 frames per second. That this will give you that real cinematic look, which makes the video and anything you shoot look much, much better. Now, another thing you want to do is always make sure that you have a record stereo sound enabled right here. What this will do is, of course, shoot stereo sound, which is way more realistic and will sound way, way better on any video. So always, whether you're shooting with a cinema cinematic mode, the ProRes or in whichever format or way you're shooting on your iPhone, always make sure that you have record stereo sound enabled. And then what you will have here is a new option called photographic styles. Now this allows us to add basically different styles, different filters to your camera, which you can use to shoot pictures and videos. Now based on what you're shooting and what you're looking to get out of your camera, you can go ahead and go with a standard, a rich contrast, vibrant, warm, or a cool version. So you can use any of these. So just tap here, use, and you will be able to use them on your camera, which is pretty awesome if you just want to have that effect, which of course can be also edited in post. If you're using ProRes and ProRaw, that won't actually be a problem. But if you just want to get that straight out of the camera, you can actually enable these from here. And now let's move to the camera app. Now you will have the options for raw right there at the top. If you have enabled these on the settings app, like we showed earlier, you can now enable them also from here. So once you enable it, now you're shooting a pro pro raw photo and you can see it will take a few seconds there to actually process that photo because it's quite big and you will have the same here for ProRes. So if I tab it there, ProRes will be enabled, so basically it will only work with 1080p at 30 frames per second, so it will show you that right there. If you don't have it set up the way it should, you move back, and right here you will have the video recording, so you go at 1080p 30 frames per second, and now you will be, in a, be able to actually use ProRes on your iPhone and record the video, which is really, really cool. Now, if you have enabled the filters we talked about, you will find them here at the top. So you can tap again here and actually even move between them directly from here. So if you haven't changed them or you want to change to a different one, you can actually even do that from the camera app of your iPhone, which is really, really convenient. Another setting you can enable from here is the action button. So you will have this button right here or at the top. By tapping on it, you can enable the action mode for your video. So you can see right there that it says more lightning required. So the camera app will basically tell you everything you need to know in order to get the best video resolution and the best video quality out of your iPhone, which is really, really amazing. And you will also see right there the maximum time that you can shoot a video with the current free storage that you have on your iPhone, of course, when using the ProRes version. So that is it for this video, guys. This is how you use the pro mode, the pro settings on the camera of your iPhone to get the best results, of course, best video, best image and best audio quality out of the camera of your iPhone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.